Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 7 of my let's play of Monster Girl Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Today we're going to visit Esta. At the entrance to the village there's a soldier. He greets Luca and acknowledges his right to investigate Esta with them. So, you may pass. So this strange everybody disappearing incident and furthermore the immediately visible Tartaros. Well, we better get investigating. Let's go. So then, when we set foot inside. Wait, what is this place? Where is everybody? Where'd they go? Curious, is it not? This guy has a relatively large amount of stuff to say. Although we don't really need to say it. One important thing he has to say is that we must have come from either Rubiana or Esta on the surface. Now he observes we're kind of looking lost. He asks, perhaps this is what you're thinking. Rather than leaving everything up to the decision of the goddess, I want to decide my own life. Well, yeah, sure. But, human life is full of risks and gambles. We can't see the future, so our decisions, we can't tell if they're good or bad. But, the goddess can see the past and the present and the future, so she can make the best decision for everybody. So, disobeying the voice of the goddess, do you want to ch deliberately choose unhappiness? You just need to leave everything to the direction of the goddess for the best results. So, take up your chosen so take up your decided profession and marry your decided mate. That is your best life. Yeah, sure. I should mention, you can't go in here until the bell rings. So, yeah. Oh, look, a bell rang. Oh, we got one more thing to look at. Or rather, one nothing to look at. So, in midair, there's just a Tartaros floating there. Curious. This angel will say that the Tartarus is completely under our control. So we mere mortals just need to go on living in safety. I'm sure. Alright, this great temple is weird place, huh? What is this place? Luca, you have observed paradise upon heaven. Who's there? This is Raphaela, one of the seven archangels who protect. So, child of judgment, Luca. She is the one who guided you here. And so you have seen the paradise. Everybody, under Elias' guidance, was living happily, weren't they? So under Elias, it's a promised world with the greatest good for the greatest number. Do you not think it is truly wonderful? Well, I can agree with her. I can tell her it's a crappy world, or I can say I don't know. So I'm going to hedge my bets here. Oh, why are you lost, child of judgment? Under the goddess, it's a promised world of perfect happiness and equality. Those suspicions are correct, destroyer of worlds. Destroyer of worlds, I like the sound of that. Sasha! I thought you would try something, but to think you would infiltrate so far. 
What angels think is so easy to read. Just now you were thinking to box in the child, weren't you? Listen, destroyer of worlds, Luca. Do not lend your ears to the rash remarks of this angel. That is no paradise. With their free will taken, everything that lives there is only exists to obey the direction of the Elias. The value of people's existence is only pr to protect the goddess's prerogatives. What it is is merely a world of slavery. Everybody has their freedom stolen from them. It is a world of hell. This freedom stands upon a dangerous ground. People will in their places make their mistakes and, and go down mistaken paths in their lives. The people in that paradise, did you, they seem unhappy to you? Their freedom taken, did they seem unfulfilled to you? What was stolen from them was the possibility that they might choose mistaken paths. Well, with their possibilities taken from them, for what reason do they live? They are nothing more than puppets who exist at your pleasure. People make mistakes, they struggle, and they claw their way up. That is what it means to be human, and that is why human life has value. I like this Sasha girl. What human would choose a life of difficulties deliberately? Where would they be? Almost everybody wishes for it. A life where they can live happily without mistakes. So that promised happiness, the goddess will deliver. Only a strange one would deliberately demand their freedom in that face. That's true. Such a stranger doesn't exist in paradise. It's such a tasteless and dry world. Totally boring. And this happiness that you angels speak of is something decided by the goddess. The goddess steals everything from the people and delivers only a life of slavery. Luca, you saw that world and you have learned. Those who are in the paradise are merely slaves who do not realize that they are slaves. Luca, do not lend your ears to the whisperings of this devil. The freedom that she speaks of is the freedom of a dog-eat-dog -dog world. If we leave everything up to the free will of people, certainly the strong will prosper and the weak will be oppressed. Oh, don't give in to her sweet words. Going down that path is only a, a world of slavery with a complete loss of free will. Hmm. Okay, I can agree with Rafaela or Sasha. Or I can say I don't know. I'm going to hedge my bets and say I don't know. I have a feeling that these girls wouldn't change their dialogue anyway. So, child of judgment. Soon, the time of decision shall come. Before the world is destroyed, that time when you shall make a great judgment. You can obey the guidance of Elias and save those who are pure of heart. 
Or you can do as the devil wishes and d call down a heaven uh, and call down a hell of dog eat dog. Well, well. They're playing it up, aren't they? So, do not forget. Soon, you shall be visited by the time of decision. Soon and certainly. Huh? What's this? What's the matter, Luca? Right when we came into town, you just spaced out. Was that an illusion just now? No, certainly not. So he tells them everything he saw. Esther was turned into a heaven-like place, and everybody was living happily. Hmm, what the hell? With your power, did you happen to see a vision of a parallel world? And then there was that angel and monster that I met. The two of them were fighting over what I would pick. That monster was Sasha, she said, right? Well, if you want to nitpick, she never said it. Rafaela only called her that. Anyway, she's coming down from Legend, one of the six ancestors. If that story is true, then this disappearance incident is connected to the angels. Well, let's get investigating then. So, also, we should get as close as we can to the Tartaros. If we go to the dock, we should find a rowboat or two. A rowboat? We better be careful not to fall in. That's why you need to be better at swimming, milady. At least so much that you can put your face in a wash basin. Oh, quit saying that. Being so noisy. Not really much to see in here. Hmm. This incident must be connected to the Tartaros. We don't have proof, but I'm sure of it. Well, there's a rowboat. Let's get in it and check out the Tartaros. Oh yeah. Luca. There we go. Hmm, right in the center of the lake, there's a big hole. How does the water do this? Well, as expected, we can't get any closer. If we try to get further in this rowboat, we're going to fall in. It can't be helped. Let's return to the dock. If we don't have some kind of plan, we can't get further in this, Tartaros. Yeah, it can't be helped. Let's go back. So then, for now, let's return to... What the? An earthquake? No, oh, it wouldn't be that easy, would it? It's coming from the Tartaros. Don't tell me something's coming out. Well, well. No way, you... Sinners who draw your bows against the goddess. This is not a place where you should be setting foot. You're the Seraph Gnosis. If you appeared out of the Tartaros, don't tell me that you can get through it. The current Luca and Mao. Severed World Divergence, 72%. Under current circumstances, well above the average deviation. In the event of executing all of them, it fulfills the criteria of a type of a third degree severed world contact. Chaos progression 103%. Eroded area 8% increase. Course of action decided. I will now execute them all. Oh man, she's attacking us. She seems pretty strong, but we can't pull back. 
sinners disappear from this world and return your souls to the cycle of incarnation. Stronger than anticipated. But at this level I cannot be stopped. Even doing this much, it pretty much had no effect. This Seraph's power is so, so far above us. Hey you, the disappearance of it, the residents here, you guys did it, didn't it? And you took them to that heaven looking place. Eh? You saw the heavens. Well, yeah, I saw it. An angel called Raphael or whatever took me there. Now Gnosis says, my judgment was mistaken. It would be improper to execute you here. Hero Luca, you should proceed to the day of judgment. The day of decision. And until that day visits, live humbly. What? What do you mean? Well then, farewell. Hey, wait, hey! Yep, she left. Don't you love it how they give us these little pieces of plot when the people could obviously tell us so much more? Okay, so what's going on? This time of decision... Well, we don't know. But there's one thing we do know. This disappearing incident is connected to the angels. Yeah, without a doubt. So, that vision of paradise, and this seraph that can pass through the tower totals. If the angels are behind this, well, it's pretty much confirmed at this point they are. The disappearance incident at Esta is the work of the angels. Well, as long as we don't have a way of getting into the Tartaros, we can't proceed here any further. So let's return to Gran Noa and report to the Queen about the angels. Well, before returning to Gran Noa, how about we go to Undine's Spring and connect that contract with Undine. Undine's Spring is to the north, although we'll have to go around the lake. So, Investigation of Este is completed. We can't go enter the Tartaros, and the Angel's connection has been confirmed. So we report to Queen Grand Noah, but before that we go and make a contract with Nene. Hey, you stupid punk! We just got, just about got killed by a sailor for out in the docks. Why didn't you go get help? Oh, same thing. I see. You got hit by shrapnel and you'll be repeating that for the rest of your life. Brain damage really sucks that way. So, that was Esta. Next up is Undine's Spring. As I recall, actually, a different Seraph came out of the Tartaros with Alice, or Elias, in your party. So I may do an Elias aside if I'm right about that. In any case, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.